Is this true? So we're gonna find peace out to the if gods. it's true or not. But peace, I peace. Never read the article. I rock my flag. I told even Lumumba, I'm going live in 20 minutes. Lumumba, who the hell is that? To hop up here. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you're gonna do, but uh, it makes me no difference, honestly. I'm gonna keep it real, child. It really makes me no difference. Uh, let me get this banner down. We're getting right into it, guys. Don't forget like, share, subscribe. Do all that as you come in. We're on a good. Yeah, no doubt. Be go live. Share the, share my um, share the video. Shit is live. Bring people in. You know what I mean? Today is Wu Wednesdays, but we listen to Wu Tang music. And then I'm listen we listen to my man Pan Africanism Strikes Back. He over there on the tour. Let's go, son. Check three right now. Hope you guys had a chance to watch my video where I cooked breakfast you know, from Nairobi. No, I haven't I seen it. The hood breakfast. I ain't seen it. You know, the sausage, the eggs, and the toast. Yeah, but you eat pork, really, son. It's the first video I ever really edited, and I think I did a decent job. It's like four minutes. Yeah. Son, you eat pork. I don't eat pork. You know what I mean? You eat pork sausages, sausages. No pork on my fork, baby. New York type shit. Peace. Yeah, Lumumba, you could tap in for show. I thought you had work or something this morning. Um, Here goes the link. So we're going to definitely get through this article. So let's just see what Wong is saying once again. Hmm. Uh, it's a five-minute read. So this guy yeah. says, why would a Pan-Africanist support Donald Trump? Um, that's easy because I'm actually doing something. I got work that I need to do as a Pan-Africanist. See, people who ain't... don't Listen, guys. People who... Don't, ain't doing shit. Mm -hmm. They don't have no reason to pick a side or take a stand over nothing. There's an old saying, and it's cliche at this point, but if you, if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. If you'll stand for nothing, if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. And what, yeah, what, why, why would a pair Africanism supports Donald Trump? There's a lot of, you know, just fake black people out there that would do something like that. And you're right. If you you um if you don't stand for anything, if you don't stand for something, you you definitely gonna fall for anything. Hold up, Brandon. I'll feel you. Peace. You guys wanna know why the black community in America keeps getting duped time and time again? Well it's the answer is simple. We don't wanna stand for shit. What we want to do is find a way to weasel our way out, out of taking a position on stuff. Correct. That's what our community wants to do. Yeah. We want to weasel our... A couple months ago, there was a huge thing where the Kenyans stood up against uh, GMO foods coming into their country. They really didn't like that. They stood up against it. And, and I believe they emerged victorious in keeping the GMO foods out of their country. They did. They did. When the United States was like, let's bring GMO foods in our country. Mm. The black people who run around. Uh, they went for that shit. Sucking on seaweed. Yeah. Freaking sea moss and all this bullshit. Right. That think is going to uh, mystically heal niggas. Did the black community come up and take a stand against GMOs? Nope. nope. Hell no. We don't stand up against nothing. Nope. We try to play the middle and give lip service to both sides or one side while really making no decisions. So why would a Pan-Africanist support Trump? They keep asking this question. I continuously keep answering the question. Tell them again. And it's like, they hear it, they listen, they understand, then they still keep asking the same question. That's just Negro stupidity at work. Trying to, trying to, re refusing to acknowledge the, the logical arguments and the reasoning so that you can just maintain the, the, your, your stat, your stance which is right in the middle and not one to choose a side or nothing. If you don't, if you refuse to choose a side, you're just totally useless. And why do you think in America we're being replaced? We don't sit up, we, listen, we don't want to pick a- well, 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 first off, brothers is being replaced because we don't have a mind to think for themselves, you know? We don't want to stand up for nothing. Every other race in America chooses- They stand up. They decide what they're going to do. And they the beauty of America is you could you could choose a side every four years. You don't gotta stay on the same side. You could choose a side every damn 
two years if you consider the midterm. Yeah. Black people just don't want to be responsible for nothing. 